For thousands of years, peoples of the First Nations have walked on these lands. As we gather, we acknowledge that we stand on the traditional territory of the Tla'aman Nation. May we live with peace, respect, and friendship on this land. Well, hi there, and welcome to a family fun sing-along time with Powell River United Church. We're going to get started with a song called The Corner Master Store, a story about someone who forgot their glasses when they went out and they were seeing some very peculiar things. Here we go. My eyes are dim, I cannot see, I have not brought my specs with me, I have not brought my specs with me. There were rats, rats, as big as alley cats in the store, in the store. There were rats, rats, as big as alley cats. what some people call their glasses. Hey, their specs. I have not brought my specs with me. Okay, let's try singing Kumbaya, but in the fast, the fast version. Okay, Kumbaya. <laughs> Somebody's crying. 
Well, that song had some high notes, didn't it? Okay, speaking of songs and notes, let's take a look again in this book called The Little Book of Backyard Birds. The Little Book of Backyard Bird Songs. Okay, and we're going to get to listen to two different types of birds and what their song is. So, we're going to talk about the red-winged blackbird. The red-winged blackbird. Looking like a soldier, wearing a smart uniform, the male red-winged blackbird is easy to spot unlike the streaky brown female. Not only do the male's shoulder blazes say, look at me, so too does the singing. Heard from early spring onward, he delivers his distinctive song for hours while perched on stalks in and around marshy breeding grounds. So there's the male red winged blackbird and if you want to see what they mean about how different the female looks the female red winged blackbird doesn't have very much color on it let's see this other little book has got the male and female right beside each other well underneath each other so there's the male on top with all the color and down below is the female red-winged blackbird with hardly any color at all, just mostly brown. Okay, so the red-winged blackbird can be found in marshes, waterways, or farmlands. It likes to eat insects, seeds, fruit, and snails. It puts its nest low in wetland vegetation, usually laying two to four speckled blue-green eggs. The female is smaller in brown, and the length of a red-winged blackbird can be up to nine inches long. Let's have a look at the nest and the eggs, and let's have a listen to the song that the red-winged blackbird makes. Pretty neat, hey? That's a nice sound. The red-winged blackbird. Okay, and the next bird in this book is called a killdeer. Killdeer. You may hear male killdeer calling out during the breeding season as they circle overhead. This is one of the few birds that is named after its call and though technically a shore bird, a bird that lives along the shoreline by the water, it is as likely to be found inland as by the sea. Their nests are shallow scrapes and are often located in the most unlikely places, such as parking lots. The adults use a shrill D sound to ward off intruders. So the kill deer can be found in open ground and near the water. It feeds on insects, spiders, snails, and seeds. The nest is a shallow scrape on bare ground. The eggs are usually four in the nest and they're beige in color with some dark markings. The male and female killdeer look very similar and they can grow up to 10 and a half inches long. So there's what the killdeer looks like. Kind of almost a striped head and neck, hey? Alternating white and black. Let's listen to what the killdeer song sounds like. Okay, 
so this is one where it was saying the name of it sounds like it's called Kildare, 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 Kildare. Hey, can you see how that connection is made between the name and the sound that the bird makes? Very interesting. Okay, we're going to learn a song, a couple of verses in the Ayajutham language. Okay, this song is all about going to do an activity. Let's go do whatever activity. When we say let's go, we say quagahosht. Let's go quagahosht. And if I show you an action, you might be able to guess what the word means. Quagahosht houches. What do you think it looks like I'm doing with my hands? Yeah, paddling. Quagahosht houches. Okay. Um, this is going to be an echo song. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be one line. And we're going to repeat that. And then we're going to say, If I said, and I'm smiling, you might be able to guess that I'm saying, Oh, I feel happy. I feel happy. And then I'm going to say, ha how e mutstok, which means what a nice day, what a good day. Okay, so the song goes like this, and you can repeat, repeat it after me. Okay, I'll do both, both for you. Quaga host chest. Now you say, quaga host chest. Quaga host chest. Quagga hoosht hell chis e mutums quigan e mutums quigan ha how e muts thok ha how e muts thok okay and if I went like this qua whoops quagga hoosht quia quum quagga hoosht quia quum quagga hoosht quia quum quagga hoosht quia quum E mutums quigan. Ha how e muts thok. Can you guess what quayukum means? Yeah, fishing. Here we go fishing. Here we go fishing. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Oh, I feel happy. Isn't it a good day? Okay, that's what that song means. Alrighty, let's do a song from, whoops, our More Voices songbook, which is called Over My Head. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Ready? Over my head.
we've been getting a lot of rain finally, haven't we? We sure have needed it. Let's try a song about the rain. Okay, goes like this. Okay, we're going to close with a song that we have done before. So we're just repeating it because it's a great time of year to sing this song when we're remembering that Jesus came to be the light of the world when he came and being born at Christmas. Okay, so here we go. I am the light of the world.
Well, thank you so much for singing along with me. I hope that you continue to take good care, to have a lot of fun, and I sure look forward to seeing you next time. So bye for now.